Adrian joins us tonight here on SportsCenter. First things first, I guess, what made Vogel the choice after the nearly six or so candidates they interviewed, Adrian? Uh, Zubin, Frank Vogel flew in on Thursday, met with Lakers officials, and had an offer today to become the head coach. He'll sign a three-year deal. I'm told Jason Kidd will be a prominent assistant on his staff. And you know, part of the intrigue with Vogel in Los Angeles has been Kurt Rambis, Phil Jackson's uh, positive view of him as a head coach. Phil Jackson interviewed him in New York. He was a runner-up to Jeff Hornacek. And it is another reminder of the influence, the growing influence that certainly Kurt Rambis has in that Lakers front office in an advisory role, along with general manager Rob Palenka, and the fact that Phil Jackson still looms in this organization. Uh, Vogel was a favorite of theirs, and, and it certainly helped gather his candidacy momentum in L.A. What do you think the reaction around the league is this to this particular hire? I, I think around the league, Frank Vogel is a respected head coach. He is very good on the defensive end. I mean, you look at the success he had in Indiana, back-to-back -back conference finals, uh, eliminated, as you said, three different times by the LeBron Heat, um, <laughs> you know, came very close to breaking through to the NBA finals and, you know, certainly didn't have – a successful run in Orlando, walked in during a rebuild, a new regime took over in Orlando and made a change with him. Uh, but certainly Frank Vogel is not dynamic. You know, he's not a striking figure for the sideline in L.A. And, and people have been used to that in different incarnations of, of a coach and a coach who has Laker ties. But around the league, Frank Vogel, Frank Vogel is a respected head coach. Hey, real quick, I want to go back to Rambis. I think a lot of fans understand the relationship between Jeannie Buss and Phil Jackson, what Phil Jackson did with Kobe and Shaq. Rambis himself is a great former Lakers player, but how do you explain the influence of not just Kurt Rambis, who doesn't have the greatest NBA resume as a head coach himself, and his wife, Linda, and all the reports I'm seeing from you and all the other insiders about the influence they have in this organization? It is real. It is significant. You know, Linda Rambis has worked in the Lakers organization uh, for years. She's a close confidant of Jeannie Buss, the owner. And Kurt Rambis you know, has been in the Lakers organization as an assistant coach with Phil Jackson, left as a head coach in Minnesota, was an assistant in New York, and now is back um, in L.A. in the organization. He was a part of these interview, uh, interview sessions with candidates. And he was, he's a part of the decision-making process. And um, there's no uh, – I, I would not underestimate the impact that the Rambis family has on this hire and, and other decisions that are going to be made in basketball operations in L.A. Last thing for you. I know many NBA people that have been observing the league for years said that when Dr. Jerry Buss was alive and he dangled any job, people would leave whatever their current job was to go work for him – in Los Angeles. Now that this coaching search has come to an end, how would you describe the way it unfolded? Uh, scattered. Uh, and I think it spoke to the way the process played out, spoke to, I think, how many different voices there are in Laker leadership. And they, underest they, they overestimated the lure of that job in their pursuit of Monty Williams and their pursuit of Ty Lu. Uh, both candidates turned them down. They never imagined Monty Williams would choose Robert Sarver and the Suns over the Lakers. He did, and they did not believe that Ty Lue would turn down what he had told them and what they knew to be his dream job because they only offered a three-year contract, and he did. Vogel takes the job now. He, I'm told he's signing a three-year deal. Jason Kidd as a prominent assistant on that staff, and and. You know, the Lakers now will have a coach in place as the draft combine comes next week, and they start to prepare for free agency in July. Yeah, much like Lou's deal, the one that Vogel's going to sign, if indeed Woj says it's a three-year deal, would match up with LeBron James, who currently has, of course, three years remaining on his contract with the Lakers after a disappointing first foray in Los Angeles. That's the NBA's best insider with the NBA's biggest news today. The Lakers have a coach. Adrian, thank you. Thanks, Ubin.